Have you had the chance to make some soup? Yes, here you go. Thanks. I'll get this heated up in the kettle straight away. You're welcome to stop by every Sunday for some soup, if you like. Hey there, Marty. And Thomas. Ha! <laughs> Bet you never thought you'd see the two of us together, huh? <sighs> but we share a common concern. We've heard howling coming from this area every night lately. If you don't mind, can we cut through your property to see if we can find any wolf tracks? Wolves are a threat to all the livestock on the island. And I want to make sure they're captured humanely and relocated to a proper habitat. Go ahead, but I don't think you'll find anything. Well, that howling has to be coming from somewhere. We're going to check the mountain pass area first. We'll let you know if we find anything. Uh-oh. If they start looking around the lake, they might accidentally wind up in Ravenwood Hollow. I'd better check up on Wesley to see what's going on. Wesley, some of my neighbors have been complaining of howling lately. Everything okay? Oh, I'm so sorry, Tara. Now that it's winter, nights have gotten longer, and I'm running out of my stock of potion. What's in it? Maybe I could brew you up a batch. I don't know. I got it from a witch I met before I moved to Ravenwood Hollow. I think I might know the recipe, but it will require wolfsbane from the gloaming. One no-howling potion coming right up. So do you think this will really work? Look, even in magic, some things have... Uh, what do you humans call it? A, a placebo effect? But if it works, it works. And it would be nice to have more peace and quiet around here. something for you, Wesley. Oh, Tara, thank you. It was really kind of you to help me like this. Hey, it helps us too. If the Fairhaven folks are this upset about witches, I can't imagine what they'll do if they find out that there is a werewolf close to their town. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble with your neighbors. Francis, you did so well at the trial. Yes. Well, I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to do with this cursed amulet I made. Give it here. I'll take care of it. Just asking. Why didn't everyone in Town Hall freak out when that thing came flying out of Angus? Because only witches can see it. Lo sabía. I was afraid you would say that. You really think I'm a witch? Absolutely. You have great potential, Francis. But first, you'll need a wand. Wait, seriously? And then we will initiate you into the coven. Speak with the novice. She was the last to join us. I feel so strange about all of this. I hated lying to Angus about where I was going tonight. But he would hate me if he knew... This... initiation. Will it hurt? Am I going to have to sacrifice animals like my brother did when he became a Santeria priest? No. You just need to read a special incantation in front of the ancient tree in the woods. My grandma gave it to me when it was my turn. And I'll write one for you. Here are the pine cones, High Priestess. Well done! We will fashion them into a wreath. 
With this offering, we welcome the rebirth of the sun. Whoa. Cool. How long will the offering boost the wellspring? If we are prudent with our use of magic, it may last us some time. But eventually, we must turn the season so that we can harvest spring crops once more. Want to join me for coffee? Sophia's slop chips are lecker. You got anything stronger than coffee? It's already been a day. <laughs> Not here, my bruh, but uh, you can come by the bar later if you like. <sighs> I'll be honest, I'm getting sick of the night out life. I remember when I was a kid, getting ready for school in the mornings, while my pa snored on the couch. He used to sleep there so he wouldn't wake my mom up when he got in. I don't want my kids to have that kind of relationship with me, you know? Not that I'm ready for kids, but, you know, someday. I understand. Well, thanks for letting me ramble. Here's the incantation, Francis. Remember to only read it in front of the ancient tree and when no one from town is looking. Oh, believe me. I don't want anyone to see me having a conversation with a tree. Witch trials are not. You will also need to bring an initiation incantation. Speak to the Farseer to learn more. I have my wand and the incantation, Adept. Then you are ready to be initiated. You will need a sponsor. Usually, it is someone in the Initiate's family, but... Tara, will you sponsor me? Of course, Francis. I would be honored. Thanks. Initiate Francis, take your place in the wheel. Novice, take your place beside him. Initiate, you seek new knowledge, but with it comes a sacred duty. Who brings forth this initiate to join our coven? Uh, I do. As the great wheel turns, so must we take our part. Here where our ancestors stood before us, and where others will follow when we are gone. Enter our circle, for this is the hour. A Fairhaven witch comes into his power. Whoa. Uh oh. Is one of those things going to escape again? No. But we must maintain our offerings to keep the wellspring balanced. Welcome, Initiate. We now have enough in our number to turn the season, but we still need to collect an adder stone from the gloaming. Yes! I know what those look like. Let me help. I am the resident rock and gem expert around here, after all. Very well. The novice will accompany you. Tara, you should prepare and head to the gloaming when you're ready. <laughs> And you're sure this is safe? What are you going to tell Angus if I get zapped into the center of the earth or something? Nothing, because that won't happen. Promise. I was freaked out using the standing stones at first. But now I'm used to it. If you say so. Ay, Dios mío. This is amazing! In high school, we read this Shakespeare play about fairies. I loved that play. I, I used to imagine the world where the fairies lived. They don't live near here, but you're not far off. Fairies 
live nearby? Whoops. Someone should have told you about that. And I thought I had to deal with too many surprises at once. I know it's a lot to take in, but we have to find the Adderstone. Phew! Give me a second to compartmentalize, and I'm right behind you. I don't think my wand is strong enough. Sorry, Francis. We'll have to come back another time. I'm not complaining. That gives me more time to adjust to um everything. I better go see Zephyr. She upgraded my wand last time. I bet she has something in her shop. a levitation. drink a potion. What was that? I think it was the gloaming reacting to my magic use. We should be fine. I just wonder how many times the gloaming can handle one of us doing something like that. Is that? Yes. Shelby is the most talented farseer I've ever known. But he isn't the only one on this island. Mama had the sight, and she dreamed that Shelby would come to us one day. My abuela could see the future? That gift skipped me. 
But maybe we'll come to Violet or Bastian in time. Yeah. That hasn't happened. Lena said that the Adderstone would be inside one of these. But which one? My time to shine. Let me take a look. I think it's that one. How can you tell? They all look the same. There's a legend about Adderstones. They're usually made of a glassy kind of flint. Have you worked with them or something? No, but the strangest people come through jewelry repair shops in the city, and you remember all the odd things they say. Anyway, I could be wrong, but that rock has more specks of flint in it than the other. Let's check it out. I'm certain that's an Adderstone, but what about the other thing? That? It's a keystone. I don't know how it got here, but we can use it to travel to other parts of the gloaming. Wait until I get this under my loop. I wish you could, but we'll have to turn it over to Lena straight away. She's the only one who handles the keystones. That's a shame, but if you say so, let's get out of here. As miraculous as it is, my brain is overwhelmed. Drat. That was the last of it. Last of what? Hope? <laughs> no, my hot lunch supply. Because we're such a small school, the Milkwater School District usually sends over hot lunches on the ferry for the children. But no ferry means no hot lunches. I stockpiled some extras for winter storms. I just didn't plan for this. Lena's still got plenty of supplies at her store. All the kids should be getting enough to eat. Yes, theoretically. But... And I don't mean to insult any of the adults preparing the children's lunches. I'm not sure the meals they've been bringing are... Uh, filling enough, which results in sleepiness and irritability. My students keep getting... what is the word? Hangry. Ah, oh, the worst feeling. I might be able to grow some extra vegetables in my garden. If you could make them into lunches for the children, that would be magnificent. Here's a recipe that will keep them filled up. I'm no master chef, but let me see what I can do. Violet, this design is fabulous. You really think so, Sophia? Absolutely. In fact, I want to commission one of these dresses in my size. <laughs> what do you think, Tara? It's such a nice design. It will look great on you, Sophia. It certainly will. And I'll make sure it fits like a dream. Can I tell you a secret? The design was inspired by a vintage dress that belonged to my mom. Oh yes, I think I remember the one you're talking about. Gloria always looks so classic in it. I can't wear the real one. That's like admitting my mom's never coming back. But this design is my way of paying tribute. I think that's a lovely idea, Violet. I just need to get around to fixing my old sewing machine so I can actually make these. <laughs> We did it. We found the Adderstone, and another Keystone too, which Tara tells me is a big deal. Oh, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Initiate, you did wonderfully. I'm grateful you chose to stay with us. Look, I still have reservations, but this gloaming place? It's amazing. The Adderstone isn't all we need to turn the seasons, right? Because I have this sneaking suspicion that it requires more ingredients. That's correct. Could you gather the rest of them? Sure. Everyone else is stretched thin right now. Not as thin as before, but no, the path ahead isn't easy. Now that you've found this keystone, you can enter the next section of the gloaming, which is perfect. You'll need to tap the dragon's blood tree, which can only be found in that area. Tap the tree, 
place a bucket under the tap, and if you leave it for a few days, the bucket will fill with dragon's blood. That's metal. It's just tree sap, to be clear. This coven does not endorse gathering any actual blood. The herbalist will accompany you as usual. I'll have this done in no time. Have you spoken to the herbalist? Are you both ready to go? I'm ready now. Okay, follow me. You two. Always going farther than before. We'll be careful. We like invented careful. So, what are we looking for anyway? Dragon's blood, apparently. From the dragon's blood tree? Does that sound familiar to you? Oh, yeah, it does. I remember my mom telling me something about the first time she saw a dragon's blood tree in the gloaming. I hope she told you positive things because we have to tap that sucker. I knew we were gonna find another. By now, Antonio's probably noticed I'm gone. I haven't come up with a good excuse yet. He senses my magic, even if he doesn't understand it. <sighs> he never asks too many questions, but I've been stepping out late at night a lot more lately. He knows now, that's for sure. Those messages about mom and me in the woods, wearing our robes and masks, that's how Otto won the election. Did I ever tell you that? My dad had to drop out of the race after someone started blackmailing him about us being witches. We still don't know who sent them. Violet, that's so messed up. Yeah. I try not to think about it. Tara, are you ready for the neighborhood meeting? The what now? Otto made the mandatory. Didn't you hear? He's very uh, authoritative. I've never known a mayor like him in India or England. Oh, I didn't realize they were mandatory now. Sure, I guess I'll drop everything for another one of Otto's meetings. 
<clears throat> Greetings, all, and thank you for making my neighborhood meetings a part of your routine. We all know that our community is besieged by forces that want to harm us. <laughs> like you. And capitalism. Has anyone noticed more sources of harm? I have. Parker! What is Giva doing up there in her observatory? No one knows. Uh, meteorology? I thought that was abundantly clear. Oh, no. Give us, stay calm. Then why do you spend so much time walking around at night? I've seen you in the woods, going into the old mine, standing by the lighthouse ruins. Weather doesn't stop when the sun goes down, Parker. Parker has a point, Miss Joshi. Why were you... Otto, Parker, please, this is too much. For goodness sake, Giva might be higher up on the mountain of consciousness than I am. Thank you, Cameron. But Messenger Cameron... I appreciate your input, Messenger. However, every claim deserves an investigation. We will return here in a week to hear the case against Giva Joshi. I am a scientist, not a witch. Is this the 1600s? You're all mad here. The meeting's over, and, um, thank you all for attending. I can't believe this. I came here to do research, not to be investigated by some, some power-hungry git. What's going to happen to me? Otto can't do this. We'll find a way to stop the whole thing. I hope so. We all had sense enough not to convict Marty and Sophia of anything. Uh, I suppose that's the smartest thing to do. Though if Marty and Sophia were fine, I will be too. Right? I just finished a batch of lunches for the kids. This is just what we needed. Thank you. Maybe my true calling was to be a lunch lady. <laughs> if you want to keep bringing me hot lunches, I won't say no. I can get the school board to reimburse me. The ferry may be out of commission, but my garden's not. Wonderful. Oh, life in Fairhaven is so haywire right now. I want the children to have small comforts to look forward to. <laughs> Lena, I, I mean High Priestess. I know. I'll craft and cast this incantation myself, novice. Just bring me the items after letting the Farseer look at them. Don't mean to interject, High Priestess. But you know Parker better than anyone. Maybe you should choose the objects you want me to read. No. It's better that I keep him occupied before he casts suspicion on one of us. We can't afford to lose a single member if we're to turn the season. Okay, Parker, what mementos do you keep around here? Hmm, an old bus ticket stub. Why would you have held on to that? Hi, Parker. How are you, uh... A feeling. Never better. Angus and Natalia might have gotten it wrong, but I think we've really found the malcontent this time. So, what can I do for you today? Need something built on your farm? No, just came in to admire your workshop. 
You're always working on something cool in here. Oh, thanks. Not too many folks really appreciate handmade woodwork anymore. Here, I want you to have this. I've been practicing this new carving technique. Maybe when I get good enough, I can sell these in the shop too. Shelby, do you have a familiar too? I got uh, four right now, but I've had more. <laughs> only fools think you can have only one familiar. Your life changes every day, doesn't it? Farseer, all I could find was this faded old ticket stub. It's dated ten years ago. Parker sitting at a bus stop in the city. Notices a pretty blonde lady next to him. Oh no, she's fainted. He catches her just as she falls. Her eyes flutter open. She says, I said, I'm so embarrassed. I guess I forgot to eat today. That's what I told him. It wasn't true. I had been training with a high priestess of a coven in the city. One of my spells just went a bit sideways and I passed out. I never really thought of it this way. But the first thing I ever said to Parker was a lie. And I've been lying to him ever since. He really kept that ticket stub all this time? Parker made this, Farseer. Do you think it might tell you something? Parker spends a lot of time carving these. It's what he does when he wants to think something through. He's trying to sort out memories that aren't memories, or maybe they're dreams he doesn't know. He thought he saw Lena in a cloak, but that doesn't make sense to him. Must have been a dream. It wasn't a dream. He saw me. It was months ago. I cast a memory charm on him. I had no choice, you see? I had no choice. Oh, Lena. Don't judge me, Tara. I did what I had to do to protect us all. I'll take those items, novice. This is my burden to bear. I'll have the incantation ready before Givis' trial, but one way or another, this won't be the end of it. I can see that now. Are you kidding? You can't seriously think that Giva is guilty just because she's not from here. You're not from here! See? Tara doesn't think Giva's a malcontent, do you, Tara? Of course she's not. You and Tara just want to see the best in people. But Lena, honey, there are real malcontents in this town. Would you want malcontents getting to the kids? Oh, Parker. They already have. What? I'm a malcontent. A witch. You can't be serious. I hope Lena knows what she's doing. Let me prove it. Parker Johnson. See what is true. Release the wraith that's binding you. I... Wait. What was I saying about Giver? It worked. What were you saying about being a witch? Are you gonna tell everyone? Tell them what, Lena? That my wife of 10 years is a witch and that I didn't know because she never told me? Parker, wait. I don't think I should have seen that, but I... I did, so, uh... How long were you planning on waiting before you told him the truth? I don't know. Are you ready to go to give his trial? As much as I can be. That's how I feel, too. At least Parker isn't possessed by a wraith anymore. Hazel used to say to me, If you have a problem, you can't go around it. You can't go under it. You can't go behind it. You can only go through it. Let's go through it, then. Mind if I sit with you? Of course not. May I have everyone's attention? Parker spoke to me earlier. He'd like to take back what he said about Miss Joshi. Give up. I'm sorry. 
This wasn't my finest moment. Oh, thank goodness you've come to your senses. What is with this town and people changing their minds at crucial times? Not that I'm complaining. So the matter of Miss Joshi is concluded. Does anyone have something to add? Yes, I think it's time to talk about you, Otto. We welcome you into our town, we go to your consciousness center, we fund your soup kitchen, and now this, messenger? Sometimes I lock up the consciousness center fairly late. On more than a few occasions, I've seen Otto sneaking out of the mayor's mansion and into the woods, the very woods he says he distrusts. Oh, that's nonsense. Nah, I've seen him do it too. Dad? I've told you time and time again, you've gone too far. I'm sorry it's come to this. Mayor Soft, you've done more than anyone else in this community to sow discord, whether you meant to or not. I have to agree with Cameron and Bruno. All right, all right. I have been going into the woods, it's true, but it's not what you think. I've been meeting someone. You've been doing what? No, 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 not like that. I just... It was years ago. I was out walking in the woods, and I met this masked woman who said I was meant for great things. She said she'd help me obtain them, but in exchange, I had to help her. And, and then she forced a ring onto my finger. I'm sure she didn't force you. Whenever I needed to do her a favor, the ring would burn. It wouldn't stop until I found her in the woods. How long has this been going on? Um... Well, ten years? <sighs> ten years is a long time to be led astray, Otto. Long enough for you to realize the wrong you were doing. You try making smart decisions when your finger is burning! Angus, Thomas, could you please escort Otto to his house? Well, we all have a lot to think about now. Let's draw this meeting to a close. Whew. I'm so confused. Who was that woman Otto was talking about? A witch, I assume, but not one of us. It couldn't be. I'm sorry, Tara. I have to go try to make things right with Parker. I'll see you at the Circle. Good luck.